Hey, Shane Spiel. I got an email from a, a fan named Robin wanted to know what my tuning was for ragas. And uh, I thought I'd make a quick little tutorial video on how to get some cool Mideastern sounds uh, out of your cigar box guitar. <laughs> string cigar box guitar tuned in open G. That's G on the low string, D on the middle string, G on the high string. Okay, second of all, if you noticed as I was playing there I did almost all the leads on the high string. I've uh, given lessons on this before on YouTube and uh, the majority of my leads are usually on a single string. notes are just ringing out as a drone. So if I do all the leads up and down on one string, then all I need to do is teach you what that simple mid-eastern sounding scale is. Now I'm not going to give you notes, because I don't know how to read music. What I'm going to do is I printed this out. Go get a pencil and a piece of paper and copy down this exactly. If you look, there are two lines. Uh, my hand there. This is Shane's Raga scale. Its tuning is GDG. Now, as I go up the fretboard, I have a certain scale, and the scale changes as I go down the fretboard. Why? I don't know, it sounded right to me, and then as I was studying some Mideastern stuff, I learned that sitar players often do this, that the scale going up differs from the scale going down. So, going up, you have zero, which means open. This is all in the, the high string. Then you hit the first fret, fourth, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth. This is what going up sounds like. Let me put that there. Open. First. Fourth fret. Fifth fret. Seventh fret. Tenth and then twelfth. So. Going down. You start at the twelfth fret, which is your octave. Go from twelfth to eleventh fret. Eighth. 7, 4, 1, and 0. Write this down so you don't have to just keep watching the video like that. So going down, it's like this. So what you want to do is you want to practice that going up and going down and going up and going down. Practice it slow. When you put that, if you're playing a slide cigar box guitar, remember the slide goes over the fret line, not between it like your finger would on a regular guitar. So put that slide over the fret line and... And if you've noticed, let me see if I can show this. My hand is halfway off the fretboard. This slide is just touching that high string. There. And it's letting the other ones ring out, so I don't have my finger the whole way across. I just have it right there touching that string. And so... Once you get used to going up and down and up and down and you burn that scale into your mind then you can start messing with it as you go up and down, mixing the two, changing the feel, because ragas are, are a lot of, I think almost all of them are like improvisational songs. So you're playing kind of what you feel. And I love this music as I'm sitting in my living room, sitting back like this, and, and I'm just relaxing. Those 
those slide beds. guitars I sell on my website um, at shanespiel.bigcartel.com but it's an electric cigar box guitar and I have a plug through an amp. Doing the ragas I always crank the reverb. It's always just a cool sound. You know. So it just adds more of that haunting sound. So there you go. Make sure you copy this down whenever I put it in there. Pause the video. Write it down. That is the one string raga scale that I use in my basic ragas. Uh, I'll do more videos eventually and show you what I do for second string ragas such as... Look for that soon. But uh, either way, that'll get you started. You know what? Have fun. Write back to me, shanespillyahoo.com, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.